What's going on, y'all? We about to talk about my homeboy, PEMDAS. When do you use PEMDAS? You use him when you're doing a question with more than one operation. That means with parentheses, could have exponents in there, could have addition and subtraction and multiplication, so on and so forth, all right? In other words, they call it order of operations. Another way to memorize this is please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. She got gas, so please excuse her. But, um... Outside of that, PEMDAS, I think, is a nice, easy way to remember him whenever you got to use order of operations or more than one operations. P is for parentheses, E for exponents, M for multiplication, D for division, A for addition, S for subtraction, as you can see it, all on this left side right here. So, let's get into an example, all right? Let's say 3 plus 2 times 7 minus 4, okay, and let's do minus 1, that's good, minus 1, alright, so doing this example, I gotta go back to my thing, P again is always the first when I have more than one operation going on, so I look inside my parentheses, do we have parentheses, yes, we got one set of parentheses right there, so let's get it, 7 minus 4 gives us 3, so bring the three down right there everything else you bring this three down it stays in the parentheses and everything else comes down accordingly so two comes down right next to it bring the plus sign right down next to the two three comes down so on and so forth minus one moving on continuing now this next part it's gonna be either exponents do we have any exponents no I don't have any exponents so the next thing I go to is multiplication and division Notice multiplication and division, they happen at the same time. The only one that the way you determine which one goes first is by which one you see first when you look at the equation from left to right. Same thing for addition and subtraction. All right? So, 2 times 3, which is the next, is going to be 6 because that's multiplication is next. Bring down my addition sign. I bring down the 3, and then I bring down the minus 1. Notice, I, again, I do the work step down so that when I have to check my work, I can always go back and see, okay, which level did I make the mistake on, all right? So next, of course, is addition and subtraction. And like we said, from left to right, addition comes first, so it always happens first. In this case, um, 3 plus 6 is equal to 9. Minus 1 gives us 10. Perfect. Done deal, all right? So basically, that's the idea of PEMDAS. So let's try another example. All right, still got our PEMDAS up here. You know what it represents, but um, let me move down. Or actually, let me just use the side over here. I think this is good enough space. All right, so let's get over here. Let's try another one. Maybe something a little bit more complex. We can say seven times three plus two minus 4 times 2 plus 2 sounds good all right let's get this so first again we always look back over there and parentheses is first right so if parentheses is first we look inside the two parentheses and we do the operation 3 plus 2 is 5 all right over here, if we want, we can do both parentheses at the same time. This 2 plus 2 is 4. As we bring them down, we leave them in their original parentheses. See what I'm saying? Leaving it in original parentheses, and you bring down what's next to it. 7 is directly to the left of the parentheses. That's what comes down. Minus 4 is directly to the right of it. That's what comes down, and so on and so forth. Go on to your next operation. There's no exponents once again. Is there anything we could do in the parentheses? No, because this is just a regular number, so we move on to multiplication. 7 times 5 is 35, and 4 times 4 is 16. So I bring the minus down like regular, and then I do the multiplication over here and got 16. So now we have 35 minus 16, and that actually comes out to 19. All right? So... For the most part, that's PEMDAS. You're going to get more complicated ones, but you just follow the orders of PEMDAS. Don't forget our boy PEMDAS, all right? Talk to you soon. See you on the next lesson.